Hello, this is the third video in our series that will cover basic Pool RX maintenance. Okay, now that you've picked the correct sized Pool RX unit and properly installed Pool RX, how do you maintain a pool with Pool RX? It's really pretty simple and can be covered in three basic steps. One, maintain normal pool chemistry with a lower chlorine residual. Accepted normal ranges are as follows pH range of 7.2 to 7.8, alkalinity range of 80 to 120, cyanuric acid between 20 to 80 parts per million. Please note if your cyanuric acid level is well above 100 parts per million, be sure to use that number and do an adjusted alkalinity calculation. This will guarantee your water stays in balance. We provide more info on this in our fourth video titled, What You Should Know. For residential pools, your free chlorine minimum should be 0.5 to 1 part per million. For commercial pools, your free chlorine minimum should be 1 to 5 parts per million. Another important note, if you'd like to keep a higher chlorine PPM, you can. With Pool RX, it will take you less chlorine to reach it. Again, from our first video, Pool RX will eliminate any existing algae. But just as important, will prevent algae from growing even the microalgae you can't see that is consuming your chlorine. So now with Pool RX in the water, a lower residual of chlorine is more active and available. The next question we will answer is, how are the minerals lost? Pool RX minerals are lost through algae kill, splash out, backwashing, and filter cleanings. The more these factors happen, the more extreme the conditions, the shorter the lifespan of the minerals. So the next question is, how do I know when to add more minerals? This is very important. Pool RX uses proprietary chelating agents that protect the minerals from falling out of solution. Because of this, the Pool RX minerals cannot be consistently tested for in the water by your typical reagent test equipment. This is a good thing as it prevents any fallout. But this takes some understanding on when to add more booster minerals to the water, as we don't want you to overdose the pool. If you do overdose the pool or the water is completely saturated, the granular mineral will not have any room to dissolve into solution. In these cases, it can stay in granular form and float around the pool until it settles to the bottom or sticks to the scale on the surface of your pool, and we don't want that. So you will know it's time to add Pool RX booster minerals based on these three factors. 1. Time. It's been six months since you first installed Pool RX. After six months, the minerals have been used up and filtered out and you can add a booster. 2. You notice your chlorine demand is going back up to where it was prior to using Pool RX. This is because the mineral content has dropped below a level where it can't prevent the microalgae from growing. So now that microalgae is consuming your chlorine. So it's taking you more chlorine to reach your desired part per million. Three, and most obvious, if you start to see your water is getting cloudy or you see any hint of algae, you know there is not enough mineral in the water and it's time to add Pool RX booster minerals. Again, follow the installation instructions and use the right amount based on total gallons. For a general rule, consider the Pool RX booster to be equal to 15,000 gallons. It's important to note, because a small amount of minerals are still working for you in the water, you will notice a gradual change over about a two-week period. This gives you plenty of time to add booster minerals. Another question we get is this, do I have to add the booster minerals back inside the original Pool RX unit? The answer is no. Simply follow the same installation directions as the Pool RX unit, but with the booster. You simply pour the contents into the skimmer or pump basket. You do not need to add them back inside the unit. The booster minerals will dissolve into solution, and as they pass back over the original Pool RX unit, they will be rejuvenated to last up to six more months. Please check out our fourth video in this series on basic water chemistry and what you should know. Or for more information on Pool RX, please visit PoolRx.com. You can email us at info at PoolRx.com or call us at 800-3-PoolRx. Thank you for watching.